Welcome back, folks. Thanks for stopping by Light Source Engraving. I greatly appreciate you stopping by to check out this video. My name is Patrick, your host as usual. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for being here. Returning viewers, I greatly appreciate you clicking again yet on another video. That's awesome. Now, got to get one thing out of the way. I am not an affiliate for Aeon Laser. This is not sponsored by Aeon Laser in any way. However, they were nice enough to have me check out their machines at the ISA show, and I'm running a little bit behind on getting this video out. Uh, it's been almost two weeks since I returned, and I haven't made any videos. I've been under the weather, so I'm trying to get myself to feel better and get some more content out for everybody. That being said, Eon Laser is going to get a permanent spot on my steel sign that hangs up behind me. So let me just do that right now. What I'm going to be bringing you today is the introduction to the Redline series speech given by Leck and Alicia at the ISA convention. This was this happened on Wednesday when we were there and Rich recorded it and I recorded it. So we had a couple different camera angles and I'm going to intermix their speech with some stock photos, some footage that I captured, some footage that Rich captured and make it a whole presentation so you get a good overview of these new machines. And I'm also gonna do it reaction style and pause and give you my thoughts as we progress through this introduction to the Eon Redline series of lasers. So sit back and relax as we hit the red line on our journey to familiarize ourselves with this new series of lasers from Eon. Let's just get into it right now. Today we're really proud to uh, showcase our brand new laser. Um, first time seeing this in the public here is our red line series. This series is really special to us. This is years and years, uh, nearly a decade of innovations have gone into this. And what you're seeing today is, is uh, dozens of people um, working to make what we think is the best user experience and the best laser on the market. Um, we named it Redline. So it's, it's, it's an interesting uh, uh, term to choose. We chose Redline. It's much like your car. The manufacturer considers that the safe limit of how fast you can uh, or how, how, how high you can rev your engine. So essentially this is as fast as you can push something and do so reliably and safely for a long time. Um, so Redline was a really fitting uh, a name for that. Um, in years of developing lasers here, we've, we've gone through lots of revisions, lots of R&D, and so we're at a point now where we're really proud to say that our lasers have full AC servos across the line. This is a big push for us. This allows us uh, much higher speeds and much higher precision. I'm so sorry. My name is Vlad Kamaj, Vice President of Young Laser USA. Uh, with me is the wonderful Alicia Spector. She's our uh, fantastic sales manager. After the machines, um, with, with AC. Okay, now you couldn't see those AC servo motors due to the accordions that cover up the rails. So it's very cool that you're able to run those machines really fast, yet keep those motors nice and clean. So I thought that was a great feature, and I'd really like to see these run at absolute top speed. Uh, it was moving pretty, pretty fast in that video that you just saw. Servos, we get a very high precision and very high speeds. Um, with that also comes high acceleration. So we have a very high cycle time. Whenever we talk about speed, we want to also speak about cycle time. How fast you can put a cup or a coaster inside your machine and get it back out is really important to us. If you can save time there, you can spend time doing something else with your family um, or doing more work. All of our machines now come with uh, full linear rails. Um, and uh, this is really important for the robustness and also for the rigidity of the machine as well. You'll see that um, very high precision machinery always with a linear rail, and um, you'll see the same thing for all, all of our lines. 
one thing I do want to say about those rails, they are rock solid. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could stand on them, probably jump up and down on them and not worry about bending them. They look like miniature I-beams. Another thing with the rails, they're solid. There is no play. There's no play with the uh, the guide rail. There's no play with the uh, bearings. It is just rock solid, no play, absolute uh, total rigidity in the whole gantry system. With the Redline Series 2, we completely gone back to the drawing board for what a laser head can be. So instead of an autofocus pin or any kind of module that would sense autofocus, now our laser head itself does the autofocusing. Um, we spent a lot of time making the laser head a lot lighter as well. So anything we can do to lower the mass of the laser head accelerating uh, is going to increase not only the lifespan of the laser, your ability to increase those speeds. the robustness so as a laser is moving back and forth it, it's um, it's really important that the platform you're standing on is really rigid and so this year's Mira the Redline series is the most rigid laser um, we've ever made and so there's more metal in, in the current or in the new Redline series than, than any other uh, Eon laser or uh, any other laser that I've, I've actually ever seen our Nova series is exceptional with this as well. We use a single door on the side of the mirror now, so accessibility is really nice. It's okay, the single door is absolutely wonderful. Oftentimes you'll see on CO2 machines, well, all the time, I think, you'll have one door on one side to access maybe the control board, and then you'll have another do door on the other side to access perhaps the power supply and then another door to access fans and and other components these machines you pull off one panel you have access to all the electronics and they're easy to work on and maintain if any kind of maintenance to ever happen we remove a single door and everything inside is accessible to you the same is true for the novas um, and it allows a much stronger frame design these are things that we here at eon laser are always excited about. Our super clean pack design and our compact design. What does this mean? This means that all of our important parts are inside of the laser, so it saves you space, and we know that space is money in your shops. So, the industrial chiller, the air assist, and the exhaust systems are all built into the cabinets of the lasers. This is not a new thing for Eon Laser, but we've upped it again, upped it a little bit more. So the Mira series now have a quiet inline fan inside of it instead of the louder fan that was in there before. That allows for better maintenance and really a quieter workspace, which is what we all need. The Nova series, we have also kicked it up a notch and we have included inside the cabinet its own, you want to say it, Lex? Its own air compressor. Its own air compressor. I know this sounds crazy. But it's not, because now you have the absolute best cutting ability that you can get out of that Nova laser. That is super handy, having the compressor inside the machine, and it will kick on and off automatically. It's a quiet compressor, so you're not getting uh, a lot of noise from it. The way it's mounted, there's no vibration, so you're not going to have vibration on the cabinet from the air compressor running uh, with the dampers. And also having that chiller in there saves some floor space so you've got a dedicated chiller for that machine built right into it you don't have to have extra floor space and run an additional chiller it's just all there and ready to go something else that we really always like to talk about is the clean pack design on the inside of the laser we have up to the, again off of the mirror lasers as well we all have we have the accordion doors on the side so every time you're cutting or engraving all of those particles are staying inside of your workspace instead of going inside of your machine so what that means is less maintenance and really uh, a better ability to suck that fume and those particles out so that's a really good thing going along with the and again you can see why you can't see the servos you can't see the motors because they're behind the accordions so everything is sealed off from most of the dust and debris
all in one design is our comprehensive design. So now every single Eon laser has a camera built into the, the lid of the laser, including the Mira 5, which is new for us. Uh, this gives you a better precision on lining things up and also uh, just being able to see your workspace a little bit better. We also updated the laser head that Lech was talking about earlier. So now all of the mirror lasers also have the newly designed laser head, which means the autofocus is built in to the laser head. So no more collisions with the laser pin. Everything is built in, and the air assist comes out of that laser head too, which is really nice. Also, to ensure that your laser is always in center and always level, we always now we also include a bullseye level on every laser so that you can make sure that you're nice and level when you're engraving your cutting. Another great design for the all-in-one all in design is our new LED lighting system. So we always have the LEDs on the side. We now have them built into the top of the lid. So when you open the lid, it actually illuminates the workspace as well, uh, making it really nice. The next thing is we now have the Eon laser, which looks really nice all lit up, but it also serves function. So when you're on standby, it's white. When it's running, it's green. If you have an error, it's going to turn red so that you know you have to go back to the laser to uh, push that button to make it go again. I thought that was a really great feature. At one glance, you can look over at your laser, and if it's green, you know everything's going just fine. And if you see red, you need to go check it out and see what's up. So that's a really handy visual. <clears throat> That's a really handy, handy visual representation of status of the laser. Uh, and now, the new Red Lion series, uh, this is the most exciting part, is all toolless. So all of the uh, parts, mirrors, and lenses that you need to change is all a toolless process. Uh, this is super exciting. The lens is now held in with a magnet, so you just take it out, held on with silicone rings, you can pop the lens out, put a new one in silicone ring, and pop it back in. Super easy to change. The mirrors are the same way. You take them out to clean them, and you can put them right back in. What's really nice about this tool list is that everything is in its fixed position, which means we are not aligning mirrors very much anymore, which is a fantastic thing. Now, the way the mirrors lock into place now imagine okay you have a circle and you have three tabs on that circle so you pop it in spin it and that let go of it it's spring loaded locks it in place and then to remove it you just push it in rotate and pop it out and it's that easy to change your mirrors now as you can see when i was demonstrating the lens let me see let me back it up just a moment here you see the red ring that's on the top of the laser head you can also place a lens in that position or there are a couple index positions in that lens holder and that allows you to use lenses with a different focal length so if you're using a four inch lens or a two or a two and a half inch lens those uh, index into those spots and then you're going to be at your predetermined focal point uh, for the autofocus which means we are not aligning mirrors very much anymore, which is a fantastic thing. The laser docking hub is a new thing as well. So what this does is it allows you to change a laser tube or maybe a laser source uh, so that you can take a laser tube out, put a new one in. It has a fixed beam path. So again, if you're changing a tube, you're not aligning the mirrors or the beam path anymore. Something fantastic. This is really cool. Um, something that was said in one of the speeches is, or one of the presentations, let's say you and your neighbor have identical lasers and identical laser tubes, and your laser tube goes down and your neighbor's not using their laser. Well, you can just pick up their laser tube if they let you borrow it, walk it over to your laser, pop it right in place, and you should be off and running with no alignment necessary because it's a fixed position where the two blocks into and it's the same on every machine so it's basically plug and play unplug one plug the other one in and you're good to go um, so uh, 
intuitive. We have a brand new controller now and a brand new touch screen as well, a, a, a brand new screen as well. Um, we've got a lot of feedback. So we've got years and years of experience here from laser users, laser technicians, um, and also our, our, our own employees of what a keypad should be and how a keypad should function. And so we've taken all of that into consideration. And we're but you can monitor the water temperature amperage in milliamps, air pressure, and temperature of the optics right from the display. Designing a brand new keypad, a brand new controller as well, and what you see here is exactly that. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's actually all the useful functions you could want on a laser all on one uh, platform. It's, it's really great. A new, a, new first, a, a, a new industry first is our Proacta design. So whenever you have mirrors on, on a laser or optics, they get warm. So there's always a laser passing through them. The question for us is always, how do you maintain the laser? When do I clean this lens? When do I clean the mirror? Um, instead of just checking it, we now have sensors on all of those components. So your lens has a, a thermal sensor on there. Your, your mirrors have sensors on there as well. Your water chiller has a sensor on there. Your laser tube has a sensor on there. So if there's ever a problem, there's an immediate um, uh, response from the controller. It tells you what the problem is. If you have a chipped or damaged mirror or if it's dirty at all, we have a sensor that's going to tell you that you need to clean or change that mirror. So it's really a proactive approach to, to, to lasers instead of just a regular maintenance approach. I would say this is a great feature to have. I wouldn't rely on it totally at this point. Like um, if you're going to, if you're running low on fuel and the light comes on on your dash, uh, you should be monitoring your gas gauge and know about when that's going to happen. But then the light comes on and that reminds you that, oh, I need to fill up. That's the way I see these uh, sensors working. You want to be proactive and monitor your mirrors and lenses and inspect them from time to time. But if you happen to be in between inspection times and something happens and there's an issue, this will be great to alert to you so you can check it out. It's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and um, you can just get back to just operating your laser, which is really the key here. Um, Safeguard it. So in, 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 that, in that thermal design, too, we also have um, protection that takes place. So um, one of those protection barriers is going to be our, our, our side channels. And so whenever you engrave something, you get soot and debris that comes up. We don't want those near those mirrors, and so we want those mirrors to last as long as possible without cleaning them. And so we have this nice clean pack that um, completely encompasses everything. Our laser head also has a window on there as well. So cleaning mirror three, uh, cleaning your lens, these things go to, you know, based on relying on the sensor. Um, those, are, those are really uh, uh, actions of, uh, of yesterday. Um, this is really exciting as well. This is a, another industry first for us. Uh, the versatility that we have in laser tube selection. So if everyone here is really familiar with a regular laser tube, typically glass tube, they operate really well. Under certain circumstances, they cut really well. Um, we've got the ability to change to a RF tube or a glass tube on a laser. Um, but then we also have the ability to drop in a fiber source as well. So we could have uh, you know, a, a RF tube and also a fiber source. Um, and for us, that's, 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 that's the first. Our ability to drop in a laser tube as well with our with our with our docking design is is uh, an issue first. If you guys get a chance, please stop by our booth. We'd love to demonstrate it to you. The modular design is great. Like I said, for changing a CO2 tube, that will be uh, super super handy. With the uh, amount of alignment you have to do, that's going to greatly cut down on the effort involved in changing a tube. Now, let's say you want to switch from your glass tube to your RF tube, then all you have to do is pop one out, pop the other one in, get it secured, plugged in, powered up, and you're ready to go. Alignment should be taken care of with that modular design. We can simply unclip the tube, pick it up, put it back in, and the tube is perfectly aligned. Uh, we here at Eon Laser USA uh, always want to make sure that time is money. We want you to get this job done as fast as possible and put as much money as your pocket. We care as much about your businesses as you do, and we want to make sure that you succeed. So our goal in this Red Line series was really to give you all of the
the powers to do that. As fast as you can get a job done, as efficient as you can get a job done, as efficient as your machine can be, this is the Red Line Series. We really tried to go above and beyond for all of you, and we hope that you agree that we succeeded in this task. Thank you, guys. When it comes to the Eon Red Line Series, these lasers are going to be great for those of you that are wanting to graduate from a hobby laser to a more commercial series laser, or if you're wanting to upgrade your commercial series lasers to one of these red lines that have all the new features or a bigger Eon to complement the Eon laser you already have. Uh, this is a picture of the Eon laser booth with their nice rig that they brought in and they had all the different machines on display and then this picture gets even better there is my friend Rich posing with the big rig and uh, that turned out to be a nice picture really enjoyed taking that one now really enjoyed all the time that I spent with Rich this in, during that uh, three days we had a great time and I really appreciate Eon Laser flying me down to check out their machines and hang out with them for a few days really a great group of people I had a lot of fun and hope to do it again and that's all I'm going to cover in this video I just wanted to give you a good overview of the Redline series and these new features now I do have more footage and we have the factory tour and a couple interviews that I want to put together and create another video or two and I'll be working on those very soon so stick around and stay tuned come back and visit and like and subscribe and all that good stuff I would appreciate it again thank you so much to Eon Laser for having me and thank you to Rich for spending three days with me we had a great time and i look forward to seeing him in person again as always and most importantly thank you to all of you for watching liking and subscribing i greatly appreciate it and most importantly folks i hope everyone has a great day i'll see you in the next one